Hey right, guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jimmy. And I am Kyle. And we've got a slightly different background this time. I am like well and truly up against this pillar. And from the sound of it as well, you can hear from my voice, uh, I did have Nurgle's Plague for the past couple of weeks. Hence why we've not had an upload. So I apologise for that, but what can you do? Today, we have our special four-way battle. You have seen the thumbnail. This is going to be like a slow grow campaign. So please put down in the comments what units you'd like to see each one of us use. We have Kyle using the Eldar. So if you want to see anything from Eldar, feel free to show you that. I will be using Orcs, uh, mainly at the minute Savage Orcs, but as the game points increase, just let me know what you want to see. Uh, I will bring that to the channel. We have David, who's using Sisters. Um, if you want to see anything from the Sister side of things, feel free to ask. He will make them. And uh, then we have Ben as well, and he is playing Necron. So if you want to see anything particular with the Necrons, just ask us and uh, he'll add it into his army as well. That is how this thing is going to work. They're saying no, but it's tough yeah. fucking shit. Um, yes, so the idea of this, like Jimmy just said, is to build, grow and learn the armies. These are four armies we've not really used um, and we hopefully will get better. So again, not only models, advice, tips, tricks, ways of doing things, stratagems, all that good stuff, put it all down there and help us grow. And then by the end of this, um, if you come along on the journey, you'll see a fully fleshed army, or four fully fleshed armies, going head to head in some chaotic way. So today we are doing Nels from a War. Um, no, no, no. Tempestus. <gasps> And yeah. I was just so, so used to it saying it. Tempestus of War, it's going to be absolutely crazy uh, and we'll go for it as best we can in game with the cards and all that. But we wanted it to be totally random, totally fun, totally fresh and a totally kind of new way of doing things. Uh, obviously, it's a four-way battle, so there is going to be house rules, so just bear with us with that. But yeah. Yeah, well, we might as well quickly explain them now. Um, we are allowed to shoot into combat that is one of the rules that we're having but it's going to be random so against if you know i'm shooting into kyle versus ben for example i will roll a dice and on a one two and three might hit ben on the four five six and hit kyle and at the end of the day you do that if you were the two enemies are fighting against each other you're just gonna naturally yeah. gonna try and rifle some of them down. and then at the same time uh, when it comes to combats we're not doing the gen generic combat system of you go, I go. You only fight on your turn. They're the main house rules that we are using. Yes. Uh, so that means most like we can all pile into the middle if we want. And uh, it was kind of a bit more fairer on that. So special rules like fight first, unfortunately, are kind of negated. But what can you do? Um, is that everything? Yeah, like I said, we'll go through a game and we'll try and show you the most of the rules. So yeah. Yep, now instead of going to see the armies, let's quickly pick what our primary mission is going to be and the general, is it general mission rules? So much stupid. Mission plan. rules, they're really mission great rules. in the imaginative title. Yeah, so uh, let's go there and then we'll show you the armies. So we are going to pick the primary mission for you guys. So here it is. We have got take and hold. And our mission rule for today is going to be... Da, 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 da. Hall of Dread. In this mission, neither player can use the insane bravery stratagem. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's Fair okay. Enough. Right, guys, we have already deployed, um, just to speed things up, we've done this off camera. But now let's go over the armies really quickly. Another special rule we might add in, so until we hit 1,500 points in this, we are not using special characters. Despite the fact I've technically got one built, but I'm using using him as a regular beast boss on Squiggasaw. So my warlord is the beast boss on Squiggasaw, and he has the warlord trait uh, surly as a Squiggoth, which allows him to get back up on a 4+, plus and get D3 uh, remaining wounds. Uh, then moving over to my second HQ, I have a, I think it's not a weird boy, it's a were boy, I believe they're called. Yeah, a were boy, and I've given him, so I've burnt one CP out of my three, uh, to give him the Beast Hide Mantle, which allows him to basically have a five up, but feel no pain, and gives him plus one attack in combat, which 
Well, for a wood boy, he's not amazing, but you never know what might happen. Then moving over to my troops, I've got 10 uh, Beast Snagger boys, just with the pistol and axes. Then I move over to my boys on, or Beast boys on Squigger, Squig Hogs, I believe they're called. Squig Hog boys, there we go. And a knob on Smasher Squig as well. Then rounding it out, I have a little bomb squig. Yay! So that is my 500 points. Not well, Might be amazing, might be crap, don't know. But that is why we are doing this. Let's move over to the next army. All right, this is my uh, 500 points of Sisters of Battle, uh, playing Order of the Ardent Shroud. Um, what I um, what I've got basically is the the combat patrol box with a couple of small tweaks. Um, so I have ditched the Arco flagellants because they didn't fit into five hundred points. Um, I've swapped out the cannoness for a palatine, and split the sisters' squads into two squads. Uh, one of them has all of the melter guns that it can fit in it, and the other has all of the bolt guns that can fit in it. Um, Warlord is of course the palatine. And her warlord trait is indomitable belief. Uh, she also has the book of Lucius, which extends her aura abilities by three inches, which is very nice. Um, yeah, the uh, seraphim. Uh, the seraphim are in deep strike, and the repentia are sitting in the rhino. All right, now over to the next army. Oh my Eldar, um, these are Ulfway Eldar. We all know what they do. They have many, many, many benefits to their roster. So my HQ is a Farseer. He's the Warlord. He has the Ghost Helm, which basically makes psychic powers undeniable on 9+. Plus, and he gets a cheeky little extra psychic power. And I've gone for the Ulfway Warlord trait, which is Fate Reader, so I get another um, Fate Dice as well so i get bumped up to free because i am using 500 points worth woohoo great stuff indeed so then my troop i have five, 10 man guardian squad again when this uh, army grows bigger and bigger i'm gonna utilize different ones and see what i prefer and then i have five man ranger squad as well um these guys seem pretty decent with the long ranges so we'll see if they do the business Going over to my elites, I have five Howling Banshees. I've upgraded the Exarch with Piercing Strike, and she has the Mirror Blades. So without giving too much away, she's a blender in combat. So let's hope and pray she gets there in the end. And then running off, Wraith Lord. He has the Ghost Glaive, which is the upgraded combat weapon. He has two little flamers on his sides and a nasty big bright lance along there as well. I'll go over my psychic real quick for you guys at home. Doom and Fortune, and I've gone for Faithful um, Deliverance, which basically potentially CP farm if I get lucky. That's the army. Let's go over to the final one. So, here we have, clustered in the corner, my 495 points worth of Necrons. I have an Overlord, he has, he's the um, Warlord, he's got the Triarch's Will uh, Warlord trait, which means I can pick two of the same protocols um, during the game. He's also got the Veil of Darkness, because I'm not going to be sitting in the corner forever. I've got 10 Necron Warriors with Gauss... Reapers. Reapers. Uh, they're the short range strength 5 weapons. Uh, I've got 3 scarabs. I've got 3 scorpec destroyers. And I have a canoptic doomstalker. I think it's the coolest model here. <laughs> Debatable. So, well, we'll <laughs> Not a guy riding a squigger saw. Yeah, he just looks like lunch. Right, that's my 495 <laughs> points. I'll save 5 points for the next game. They're going to let me have 1,005 points next time. So, uh, off we go to the battle. I need to quickly add that I am snake bites and my war bo uh, my war boy. There we go. There is his powers: the roar of mocks, squiggly curse, and smite. You have seen the armies. You know what the armies are. Now let's roll off. How this is going to work is initially we're all going to roll off at the same time. Whoever goes first is not in the next roll off in between turns. 
Uh, and then we will roll off again and vice versa. Also, just because it, you could get tabled before you even get a game, we're going to put a light cover on everything. Yep. If you've already got light cover, or for any benefits, or you're already there, you get dense cover, just for survivability. For the first turn, um, just so that you've got a little bit of removability. Because let's face it, you don't want to be going to your turn with one unit left. So that's the ground rules for this one for now. So yeah, back to you, Jimmy. Cool. Right, well then let's roll off. Let's see who goes first. Go on, fellas. So Ben has rolled a six. Dave a three. Kyle a six. Would you guys like to roll off again after... I get a three. Right. So we'll go for the sixes first. Right. Kyle, it is Eldar, turn one. I'll pass the Kyle over to Mr. Mr. <laughs> <I'll... laughs> I'll pass Kyle over to the Mr. Well Camera. So far. Mr. Camera is going to have Kyle. <laughs> you can tell I'm, uh, I'm a little uh, rusty at this. It's been a while, thanks to COVID brain. Um, pick your secondary, sir. Uh, for the first round, we will do them on camera, and after that, we'll do them, and we'll say what the what we've got. Right, ready? You ready, Mister Camera? Always. Always. Go to Mister Kyle. <laughs> mm. Again, little like housekeeping, uh, and then we'll get on with the game. So my uh, fit, I managed to get. This, so one hit and two uh, saves that automatically go to sixes. Um, if you guys don't know what the Eldars do, do. Uh, the sisters with their miracle dice got a two. I'm the protocol of the Eternal Guardian, and I'm going to choose the one that gives me light cover, which in these house rules will also give me dense cover. Brilliant stuff, and no. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> right, so these are my cards. Bring it down. Assassination. Okay. And grind them down. All right, I'll uh, let you pause here, guys, if you want to read these, and I'll get right to it. So, Eldar, Movement, and Psychic, all wrapped up in one little bundle for you lovely folk at home. So, I have advanced the Banshees, as you can see, move from over here, iron up potential sisters. These have moved up just not only... Uh, this is, um, if, you, if you can't shoot through, so if you can't see, you can shoot. Uh, so these are iron potential threats down there. These have all moved over here to eye up potential threats here. Sorry, David. And they obviously got fire and fade, which basically means after they shoot, they can bounce back. So these guys are going to jump back onto objective three. I know they're holding it, but the bulk of them, and then these guys hopefully can jump behind this terrain as well. With Psychic, I did... Fortune on the Banshees and bossing it, but David's denial, well, as you guessed, denied it. Uh, and then just a cheeky little doom on the Rhino, purely because I've got to bring it down. And obviously it's the three highest um, in the armies. So the Rhino's that one, this geezer down here, which assassinates also there. And then oh, this lovely monstrosity. So that is that. I will get the dice for the shooting phase and we'll see what the Eldar can do. Due to popular demand, we have a dice box. There we go. Well, temporary one. Thanks to Dave. Um, we've even got another one somewhere with uh, one of our... I don't know where it says. Right, sir. So you are shooting what into what? Uh, so three guardians... They're in range to get the sisters down there. Um, so three guardians into the sisters. Go for it, sir. Sorry. Needing threes, I uh, That's not good. And then it's uh, threes to wound. Two sixes, so they're AP minus three. So, so that need... goes to AP minus two now with the... Yeah. Um... No, just move this across here. Good start. There we go. So two fives. Five yeah. ups, yeah. Two five ups. <clears throat> uh, did not like that. Um, two dead. Two dead. The Rangers now shooting into the Palatine over there, or Palpatine, or yeah. Uh, Palpatine. Right, freeze, fr freeze the hit. Oh, that was not a good roll. Um, freeze the wound. Gets it. Um, I think it's. I don't think it's. I think it's AP minus. We will check. With the light cover into effect and armor of contempt, uh, this Paltan is on a two-up save, and she is just fine. 
Pistols from the Banshees killed one sister over here, meaning two remain. Now you're shooting your Bright Lance from here into the Rhino. So if you'd like to do that, sir. You've missed, sir. Uh, I will burn one CP, so I'm down to three for a hit. And it is freeze to wound. It is a wound, AP minus... Lots. Four bright lands. After Kyle's confusion, it is minus four, but it goes down to minus three because of armor of contempt. So I need in a six. Five. Didn't get it. And then it's One D. Comment. D six plus three. D three plus three. Uh, it's the big six. Six damage on the El Ranio. So. Combat now. The uh, Banshees are going to go into these poor two little sisters, followed you know, by the Wraith Knight and the Far Seer. Right, so I need a seven for El Banshees. Getting a six. Uh, I'll, I'll burn CP. <sighs> Getting oh, a five. Um, are you still wanting to charge? Because off camera he declared the Far Seer will go first. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll and go. Dave will now burn a CP to Overwatch. He's yes, mainly wanting I the Melter Gun. Um, just the one that I shot, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right. Nope. And then yep. you'll have a bolt pistol. Uh, I don't have a bolt. Oh, unless she'll, yeah, she'll have a bolt she, pistol. Yeah, she, yeah, she will. Yeah. Fair enough. No. Nope. So one CP for now. Here we go. Need him. Was it an eight, sir? Uh, nine, nine for a fast here. Oh, nine for the fast here. Nope. Nope. And then rear flawed. I've declared it. Needing an eight. Gets in on an eight. Lovely jubbly. Fight phase now, and here we go. Sweeping blow from the Wraith Lord. Yeah. Eight attacks hitting on. Freeze. I will burn my hit all my cool. because I can't use it in any other turn. Yep. So that's all my hit. Oh, uh, no, not nice. Probably, probably a good thing you did that, lad. Just bad rolling. So four, go through. Uh, two's to wound. Oh, I get to reroll one because of the old way, which I forgot. So one. Uh, three, four of armor saves. Three, four. It would be fives, but your armor content. Two dead. Doesn't matter. It's not worth the CP. Yeah, it really ain't. Good night, sweet ladies of the night. Do, 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 do. Eldar turn one completed. Um, got rid of a squad. Couldn't really see anything else. Managing the Cripple Rhino, but probably not going to get the uh, rewards, which is slightly annoying. Fast here is in the open, but I have fate dice and a four up in Vun, so I'll take my chances. These failing their charge is a bit gutting, but you know, hey ho. But this guy is very much in Davy's ranks, so we'll see what you can do with that one there. Uh, one thing I need to remember is reroll wounds. I get to roll one every unit. I keep forgetting that one. I remember everything else barring that. So learn, Kyle, learn. So we'll go over to the next roll off and see who gets it. Go for it. That Mine was a five. Yeah, that was a five. Mine's a four. We have Necrons going next. Necrons, secondaries picked. Here we go. First one. Investigate sight. Storm, hostile objective. Capture enemy outpost. Ooh. So if you'd like to read those guys, feel free. We'll just quickly go over them. And we will see you at the end of Necrons. Movement and command. Commander movement. God damn it. Necrons turn one, movement phase complete. I know I haven't moved far, but I didn't want to. Um, I've put my will be done on the Necron Warriors. I've moved the Scopec Destroyers up a little bit, the Necron Warriors up a little bit, and the Overload up a little bit, and never, what do you know? The Canoptic Doomstalkers stood still. Hello. So, back for my shooting phase, turn one. 
Canoptic Doomstalker going into the poor little farce here. Uh, I am going to burn Ooh. one CP for lightning fast reaction, so it's minus one to hit me. Okay. Cool. D6 shots. Six shots. Oh, he's brought his weighted dice out again. Fives required. That's four fives. That's a pretty decent roll, yeah. Uh, I imagine Wounding twos. on twos, and I get a free re-roll of one wound. Mm -hmm. So I'll use that on that one. So that's four wounds. Well, I'll burn two for six, two of them for um, auto passes. Oh, passes. And then you might as well roll these into this lovely tray, good sir. Uh, the last uh, CP, is it worth rolling it? Or how spicy he's been rolling, probably, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm. So close, but you never know. Uh, the Eldar have now got no CP left. That's the end of my first turn. I didn't score any points. My secondary missions were really unattainable on first turn. So let's find out whose turn it is next. Dave. Sisters. 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 Oh, I've just literally just chilled in the fucking corner. The Sisters cards now. Here we go. Investigate sites. sites. Defend and stronghold. And deploy and teleport homeless. Oh, there you go, guys. Feel free to quickly pause and read these. And we'll come back after the command phase and... Movement. That's the one. Um, this one, defend the stronghold cannot be done on the first turn. So we have a try to do a redraw. An assassination has come out. Hello, Farsia. Right, sister's movement has been completed. The uh, the squad in the corner in the Palatine have shuffled over. The uh, Repentia have jumped out and moved forwards, uh, supported by the Rhino. And the penitent engine has moved up with eyes to uh, have a tasty wraith snack. This unit, sisters here, is shooting into the banshees, so needing threes to hit, sir. Falls. Falls to hit, Minus sir. Minus one to hit, so I that hit. Uh, pretty decent, pretty decent, four hits. Uh, imagine the strength for your toughness three, sir. Threes to wound. Just, just the, the one. one wound, so just roll it there. Like AP one. minus. I got four no, 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 Nothing. Loves it. Loss is it. Cool. We'll let you have a little think off camera what you want to do next. Engine now firing into the Wraith Lord. 11 shots off the flamers. Can you wound them on fives? That's four. It's not bad. Four armor saves to take, sir, at minus one. Balls. Uh, two go through. Mm, not bad, not bad at it's, all. How many wounds. wounds left on that? I think it is seven. Ooh, interesting. Storm Bolter from the Rhino has gone into the farce here, causing three wounds. Mr. Kyle uh, has lost three wounds. Three wounds go through. How many wounds has he got remaining? I think it's two. Oh dear. Oh, snake. Mr. Farce here on two wounds remaining. Now we are going into the charge phase and fight phases. So, what's going where? What's going where? Well, the Repentia are going to head straight for Mr. Farce here. Or oh, Mrs. Dear. I'm not sure. Uh, but I won't judge. And the Penitent Engine is going into the Wraith Lord. Ooh, interesting. So, sir, if you'd like to roll... Which one would you like to roll first? I'm going to do the uh, Repentia. <laughs> and use a Fate Dice. Use a six. Fate Dice. Oh. Uh, yeah, we rolled a yeah, five. Definitely in. And then, if you'd like to roll two dice for your uh, pen and engine. Yeah. For nine. That, that that it. Lovely. Starting with the Repentia here, two attacks each. So, eight attacks going in, hitting on fours, re rolling everything, wounding on twos. Any sixes? Uh, no sixes. I would just re roll everything, me. I mean, they're all. They're all... Exploding sixes, that's all. Yeah. Uh, you take your chances. Nah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? And then wounded on twos. Yeah. Yagen. Uh, we got that one. Three. Uh, 
three wounds. So no, I wounded on twos last. Wounded on twos, sorry. <laughs> I... You got six. I okay, yeah, six then. Sorry. I hang on, hang on, good sir. Oh, there we go. Uh, not a bad roll to fair. Drop two, but it's enough to kill the Thassia. We move on to the next combat now. The engine versus the Lord. Here we go. Re rolling anything that fails because Zella. Uh, bar Sixes one, don't explode on the pen and engine now. Uh, wounding on. Uh, we are. Yeah, Falls. Falls to win. Three. Two gone through, so six is required. Uh, nope. Nope. Would be four damage normally, but race, structure, do that ring. They're not powers. Very good. So, sisters recap turn one. Uh, the venture slayed the enemy warlords, getting them good old assassination. Uh, the Repen penitent engine managed to ne knock a few wo wounds off the uh, the old wraith lord. Uh, I'm not thinking we're in too bad of position moving forward, but uh, we will see how it goes. Orcs, now here we go. So I have extend battle lines. Feel free to read that, guys. We pause. Then I have. Battlefield Supremacy. Uh, let's just double check the secondary is achieved at the end of your turn if you control three or more objective markers. Oh, don't think I'll be scoring that. And then, investigate sites as well. Right, guys, let's see what I can do with that. So, the movement for the orcs. Here we go. These guys have just moved around 10 inches. This guy has moved up five. As normal these guys here though I decided to advance so I've advanced this guy and he scored five uh, on the, the advance which got him into that table quarter there beautiful thing is extend battle lines is scored at the end of my turn so I should be able to achieve that and then I advance these guys as well and he's got four making him move nine inches the big old knob on smasher squig is staying on my objective so that can score that extended battle lines uh, I'll see you in the psychic phase. So here we have the Warboy going to smite into the Rhino, as that is the only thing he can really do this turn. So here we go. Uh, I get a six, if you'd like to roll, sir. Four, nope, uh, D3. Four, three. It is down to one wound remaining. Warboy now in my shooting phase, going into the Rhino. I've got the Eyes of Mork, so... 12 inch range, assault 2, strength 6, minus 3, d3 damage. So here we go, hitting on 5s. One hit, and then wounding on 5s. And no. And now I will do my saddle weapons from the Squig Hog Riders. I'll just double check what they are. Starting with their stickers, here we go. Um, needing 5s to hit, and then if it's within half range, which this one isn't, uh, it's plus one strength, which actually makes no difference because it can only be strength six. So I'll roll them all at the same time. Hit on fives. Two hit. Wounding on fives. One wound at minus two. So it'll be minus one good sir with your armor of content. So four's required. Nope. Would you like to burn a CP or would you... I'll see if it explodes. It does. It does. Ooh, right. We'll have a look at that. It's back in a moment. So, D3 Malt Wounds going on to these Hog Riders. For two? Oh. No. Yeah, I give Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, For three. three? Ooh, that might be a dead Hog Rider. End of Orcs turn one. And I managed to score extend battle lines, thanks to this one here. And that one there. So, pretty good with that. Quite happy. Scored five points. I'm level with David. Uh, now, everybody gets the chance to discard one of these. Let's see what everybody picks. Van, of Here we go for second turn. Six oh. as well. Come on, Mr. Oh, ben. No. Here we go. 
Oh. 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 The Necrons have first turn of the second turn. So, Necrons movement phase turn two. Uh, I've drawn Tempting Target as my next mission objective. Uh, I'm in the Protocol of the Undying Legion, which is my faction specific one, because uh, I'm Zarakan. Uh, I've moved the Necron Warriors up and put my will be done on them. The Scorpec Destroyers. Uh, close to the Necron Overlord and the Canoptic uh, Doomstalker hasn't moved because we've ruled that the Squig Boss is a viable target. So, uh, coming up, Necron shooting phase. Canoptic Doomstalker shooting my precious beast boss. I have burnt TCP for tough as a Squig Hide or tough as Squig Hide, which means transhumans on him. Two shots, uh, I'm going to CP reroll that. Cool. So, into two. At least you've used your CP. Fours. Both hit. Cool, fours to wind. Uh, three reroll to my, due to my dynasty. Two wounds. Two wounds. And minus five. Minus five, cool. Uh, I will take my five up in buns. Pass one, fail one. Damage, sir. D6. Oh. One, and I minus one, so zero. <laughs> but no, unfortunately. One damage on my poor squeak boss. So, I failed to record this twice. Third time's a charm. End of my turn two. The Canaptic Doomstalker took one wound off the beast boss. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I didn't film that. There's, there's a blooper. So, uh, we've got David taking the next turn. With a roll of a five. Yeah, I got a roll of a four. Well done, Lomas. End of Sister's movement phase. The Seraphim have dropped in, and the Repentia and the Superior have moved up closer to the Squig Boss, eyeing up a nice meaty prize. We will see what shooting goes on in the shooting phase. Bennett Engine now is going to fire its flamers at the Wraith Lord. Here we go. 2d6. 4, 8. Needing 5 to wound. Uh, 3 saves to take, sir. Uh, save all of Ooh. them. So these guys were going to shoot into here, but Dave has decided against it because he wants to charge. He doesn't want to diminish his, well, a long charge, basically. At the minute, he's 9 inches away. He kills this base here, he will be 12 inches away, which is doable. So he's got a 6 on a fake dice, but it's easier to roll that free in it, ladies and gentlemen. So, where are we going? Charge phase. Ooh la la. Right then. Well, I know what's coming. Would you like to roll your dice, sir? What are um, you rolling they, first? Uh, the actual repenture themselves they get to roll three dice and discard one because of the command phase thing that the superior did didn't really need it they are well in and, and what about the kindness uh, yeah loves it, it. Well. the seraphim now are going to charge in here a six has been burned what will uh, what will the roll be needing a three or more rolling a two would you like to burn a cp sir he does, and he gets a five. Charge phase has been completed. The Repentia and the Repentia Superior have managed to get in on the Squig Boss. And the Seraphim have tried to make a cheeky move for objective number one around by the Scarabs. We shall see how they do in the fight phase. The Seraphim now attacking the Scarabs. Uh, this is... Eight attacks, I think. Yep. yep. Uh, off the standard ladies. That is terrible. Uh, are, are they threes or fours? The threes. They'll be fours to wound, I reckon. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Just the one. Re roll one of those ah! because I am Argent Shroud. Should have done that on your power sword, lad. Go on, sir. Two six ups. No. No, two wounds gone. And then the power sword lady. She'll 
should be three attacks if mm -hmm. I remember rightly. Hitting all on threes. Two. And then needing threes. Threes, yeah. Uh, that should be a base yep. dead, good sir. It is a base dead. So four dice. I mean. Fives for. Um, no, no, it's four because of Undying Legion. Oh, the Undying Legion. Oh no, I get to re-roll one of the dice. Yeah. That's it. So it's five. Yeah, it's five. Yeah, no. You achieved your job, good sir. Repenture into the squig boss, here we go. Uh, one explosion. And a few misses. Get to re-roll. Uh, so that is how many seven hits? Or eight hits? Eight. Eight hits, uh, needing... So it would normally be fives, but did you say they get plus one for the... Uh, so the whip last get, and clan phase, get, you get advance and charge and... Um, plus one to end. No, re-roll re -roll charges and plus one to end, yeah. Right, okay, cool. So uh, fours yeah. then. Seven. You've got a re-roll. Yeah. yeah, just... So that is four... Five up in wounds required from the beast. Uh, one pass. Three go through. That'll be three wounds taken because he does reduce one damage. So he's down to five wounds remaining. Now the uh, the repenter sister. I think you can just see her. Go on then. Misses with two. Because I don't think she won't get rerolls, will she? She's not a crazy zealot lady. No, I don't think so. Cool. And then it'll be uh, sixes. She's jump three. Uh, has a reroll. It wounds. Um, be four up save, I imagine. Nope, fail. I am down to four wounds remaining on my boss. Pain engine now going into the ray four. Falls required. Not rolling oh, hot one. No. And then uh, uh, falls to wound. I'm going to roll one of those. He can't get a reroll, can he? Because he's. Uh, oh, wait, no. Never yeah. mind. Sorry. My bad. Because of the pain engine. Penitent engine. It's so now uh, when you charge with the yeah. Z lot. That did explode, though. It was sick. It's not oh, a sister. Oh, wait. Yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> this is confusing. This is confusing. I know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, no. That's not right. Sisters recap. Uh, the penitent engine whiffed uh, the. Repentia took the squig boss down a few pegs, um, but their main objective of claiming that center objective for ex my extend battle line secondary, which is right here that I drew, um, is complete. And the Seraphim managed to clear that, clear that objective as well. So, all in all, not a bad turn. Now we go for the next roll off for the next turn. Roll off for the next turn. For a tear. <laughs> <Hey>! Eldar, <coughs> turn two. Eldar, turn two. Um, these guys have moved around to objective three. Just to anchor up on there. The Guardians had advanced a mighty one, um, so they've scuttled through the rocks just to eye up mid-ground, potentially getting some objectives end of the game if they survive. This guy's locked in combat. He's going to get his revenge on this silly, 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 silly machine. And the Banshees, well, 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 have bombed up there, eyeing up potential um, potential threats. There's a Repentia literally within touching distance and the Squig boss which assassination and bring it down looks awfully tasty right now. And that is that. Psychic is no more since the Farsi is deaded. So we'll go into the shooting phase. Uh, I'll have a little ponder and I'll be right back, guys. Rafe Lord going into the Penitent Engine. Flamers have been rolled. Ten shots have been taken or done. Or... Yeah, uh, it is five to win, though. Uh, I see one. Uh, I do also see one. Just one, um, eight minus one. And it's a wound. So he's down a four, and then it is... Brylance? Yeah. Uh, I am going to auto-hit with my 
magical powers. Uh, to wound will be a free. Get to reroll cause all for. Uh, yeah. Do you have an in button? No. Um, no, you don't do. You? Uh, it's d three plus three, so it's he's f- so he's dead basically. Does he have an explodey thing? He will do. He's a vehicle. I'll roll anyway just to see what it got. So I get six damage. And you rolled a four. So no. So the pendant engine has sadly been put out of commission. How many hits you got first? As per just our just home one. rule, the uh, banshee, uh, ban- yeah, banshee's mm-hmm. shots are going into the combat. One, two, or three, it hits the repenter. Four, five, or six, it hits my squig boss. So here we go. No, 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 no. no, no, no. What are you doing? No, See? no. I heard you as well. Who's that? That's me. Okay. Right. Freeze. Two hits. Uh, um, what's champ for Four. Fives. Uh, fives. Uh, I, I think the six was one, to be fair. Uh, so that is AP minus three. Doesn't matter, mate. Doesn't matter. I'm a squig hog boss man. And I rolled one. Uh, that is one damage. So he's down to three wounds remaining. Shots from the rangers now going into the score pack. Destroyers needing three to hit because shooting through a bit of dense cover. All hit. And then it is fives to wounds. Two and wounds. I'll all play reroll. Two wounds. AP minus one on your Scorpix destroyers. Four it's required. No. No. How much damage? Just one each. Oh, one is down to one wound remaining. These Banshees now in the charge phase are going to go into this combat here needing, well, they're all in, but let's see whereabouts they can go. Yeah, uh, seven inches. And then you are doing the Wraith Lord. We've measured it. He's 12 inches away from here because he has to go around here because there's no way he's fitting through that gap. So uh, I'm going to do it here. So I'll just move the dice for you. <sighs> not bad effort. I'm not re-rolling. I've been nuts. So the Banshees, this is how they're going to attack. Three of them are going into the Repentia, and then the leader and another geezer are going into the boss. Would you Have you got your dice ready for the three? Yes. Cool. What are you hitting on, sir? Hitting on threes, and I am wounded on twos, because I had a plus one when I charged. Dropping them. And then it's two. Uh, it is five wounds at your six of invuns. They did. The unit white. With the repenter dead, now it is going into the boss. I believe he said the autark gets ten attacks plus. Yes, yeah, so it's got mirror swords, um, which doubles the attacks. And because I've upgraded with piercing strike, which turns damage too, irrelevant for you, I know, um, I get an extra attack on top of that, which is really the benefit of that. Okay. So I get uh, 10 hitting on threes. You were happy to know I dropped quite a lot. Well, halved it. Uh, so it would normally be fives, but it's plus one. What, so what strength is it again? Four. Jump four. Yeah, yeah, five. So it falls on it. Shit, plus one. Uh, and I get to uh, all four every roll. Uh, so three five ups. Good sir. Oh dear. I'll do. I'll take that. It's only one wound gone. And then it is the last person. Yes. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've just put myself down. One wound remaining. Ah! Oh, there we go. Yeah. All hit. She had no exploding sixes. Uh, just, the just the one wound. And totally fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. Slight recap. Um, pretty successful in the sense that I managed to kill that, freeing up the rear flawed. Um, hopefully, I can get into that objective down there. The Banshees, unfortunately, didn't kill a squid um, boss, but... With toughness seven, it was always going to be a tough call, and Jimmy leveling up with his uh, invuns really carried. So overall, pretty good. Unfortunately, how the cookie crumbles is I bagged five for no prisoner assassination to bring it down. I still in effect. I damaged the rhino, and then someone took the glory. I feel like this might happen here, but 
a ho. So we'll go over to Jimmy and his orcs, see if he can do anything, whittle down some more of these armies. I feel like he pros potential to do so. So we'll see you guys there. So I have drawn these two. No retreat, no resend uh, no surrender and uh storm hostile uh, storm hostile objective. There you go guys, feel free to pause and read the conditions. So orc movement, I have oh, and command, not done anything in the command phase. Uh the movement, as you can see, just getting ready to get these banshees. Now for the Psychic phase. I'm going with the squiggly curse into these uh, banshees. So that is uh, a warp charge of seven. So here we go. Oh no, I rolled a three. Um, do I burn a CP? I do. I will burn a CP. I'll go for it. So I want to see some mortal wounds on these ladies. I get an eight. You deny, sir? No, I can't deny. You can deny if you want it, sir. He doesn't want to deny. Oh no, here we go. Uh, Do we have a denial over here with the Necrons? What, you're putting them into the Banshees? Just the Banshees, yeah. And I've got to roll four pluses now to cause mortal wounds to a maximum of six. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that because I think you're going to slaughter them in combat anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, four ups required for mortal wounds. Uh, that is three mortal wounds, good sir. Do you have any save against mortal wounds? Yep. Five ups. How dare you have five ups? Uh, oh. Two are dead. That's all right. I'll take that. I am forgoing my shooting phase for a charge phase. Uh, there are still five there. Mr. Kyle will move them momentarily. Um, the Orc Boys are charging. The Hog Riders are charging. Let's see what we can do. Hog Riders are in. Orc Boys are in. Surprise, surprise. So we have the Beast Snagger Boys going into the Banshees to begin with. That's 31 attacks. Thanks to the beast boss on uh, Squiggersaw, I get plus one to my uh, plus one to hit on my attacks. So I'm hitting on twos. That's not bad. I dropped one. Uh, wounding on threes. This is thirty wounds, just for frame of reference. There we go. Three is required. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was a two. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen wounds, good sir. I'm just gonna roll. roll. Uh, it's minus one. I was running main blunt anyway. Yeah, they're dead. Even with the um, boss with three wounds. Yeah. Dead skis. Well done. Right. The. Beast boss on Squiggersort does five attacks. He's hitting on twos, he's wounding on twos. Any sixes to wound uh, inflicts one mortal wound on the target. I'm going to get my end up being orcs for this neck run. <laughs> right, you ready? Cool. Right, Beast boss now. Hit on twos. Oh, he's missed one. He's missed two. Uh, wounding on twos. Uh, that is two armor saves at minus, would be normally minus three, but it's minus two. Four. Oh no, no, you need a five, don't you? Yeah. Five's required now on this uh, Repentia Superior. Oh, -ho! she's lost. Two wounds, that's it. Yep. And uh, now the Squiggasaur itself, hitting on twos. All of them hit, wounding on uh, twos. All of them wound. Minus three once again. So it is five ups, five ups once again. And then it's uh, flat three this time. One fail and she's gone. It was a valiant effort, but unfortunately... End of uh, turn two for the Orcs and game turn two. Um, I've managed to score Storm Hostile Objective because I took the objective off of Kyle. Uh, normally this would be against your opponent, like, but I think because it's three opponents, just by the by, so five points have been scored here, and five points from the primary, taking me up to 15. Right, 
turn three roll off. Who is taking the first turn? Uh, <laughs> oh. Right, well, definitely ain't Kyle. Uh, definitely ain't me. Roll off between these two now. Oh, that's a two. That's a one. Would you look at that? The Necrons are going first once again. Necron's objectives, feel free to pause right here, but it is assassination, capture enemy outpost, and storm hostile objective. So, there's finally been movement from the Necrons. Uh, seeing as I've drawn assassinate, the um, Necron warriors have moved over, they've had my will be done put on them. They're all going to take shots at the beast boss on the Squigasaur. The Canoptic Doomstalker has yet again remained still. The Scarabs fell back. The uh, Necron Overlord, uh, Veil of Darkness, over to here. As you can see, he's drawn a line of sight to the Whir Boy, so he can use his Tachyon Arrow. And the uh, Scorpec Destroyers are within nine inches, or nine inches away for a charge on this guy. Uh, so that's the end of my movement phase. Uh, sorry, my hand's shaking. It's rather cold in here. Uh, my shooting phase, turn three. The Tachyon arrow into the back of this Orc Psyche. So, it's on the two. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you've C got five C CP. CP reroll. Can we roll on this one? Let's roll on this one. I can't see. Got four. It's a hit. Okay, okay. Wounds on a uh, It'd be two. two. Um, what strength is it? Ten. 12. Wounds. Minus. Minus 5. What? Ready for this? Bad boy, 6. Ah, damage. D6, D6 damage. Go for it. 6. I do have the beast hide mandle. So, any 5s? I need at least two fives here. Uh, that'll do. Oh. That'll do. He's lost 4 wounds. He's got 1 wound remaining. Lovely stuff indeed. This guy is sticking around. It's Reaper time, baby. Shooting into which target? The uh, the beast boss Ooh. on Squeaker. He is in there, I promise. Uh, 20 shots hitting on twos. That was rubbish. How many wounds did you get? You wounded on Six. Six. fives. I get to reroll one, one room wall. And these are uh, six at minus two. Six minus two. Um, oh, oh no, I'm a monster, aren't I? So I don't gain benefits of cover. So needing uh, fives. So I'll fill four of them. He is technically dead. And then at the end of this phase. Yeah, you uh, I see have a chance to bring him back because okay. he's got a So that's five points for assassination. Uh, then we're going to have uh, this thing fire all weapons into those. Okie dokie. So it gets D6 shots. Six shots. Hitting on fours. So that's four hits. Killing on. Oh, uh, you'll get your. Five, uh, six plus in the twos. So that's four wounds. So three uh, there. Where they get plus one to their. Um, it's minus five. Shield of faith. So minus five. Five up in bum. Minus five or something. Five up in bum. Five? Since what? They get Since plus they one there. to um, their you shield of faith. Passion. No, no, no. They just naturally get it. What, those guys? Okay. Don't you do them. And then the Gauss Flayers. Uh, all hit. One on threes. Two more wounds. Uh, it, well, it's no minus to you. So, killed another one. So it's three dead. Very good stuff indeed. A little bit choppy, but this guy managing to kill three of these. So, will the beast boss come back? Is he uh, surly as a squid hot? Something like that. I've lost your mind, you. I have. I apologise. Uh, he didn't have four up. He's back with D3 wounds. Three wounds. Lovely jumper. 
Perfect indeed. I will stress there is one behind this building, even though you cannot see it right now. Scorpex are going into this guy here needing a nine. The Lord is going to try and finish off what he started down here, needing also a nine. And let's go right back over to Necron's home base. This geezer needing a five are going into the Seraphim. Uh, we start with Scorpec Destroyers. That's not a nine, so I'll use a CP reroll. Also that not, a is nine. not a nine. nine the nine, 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 Necron nine. Overlord is not a nine. Oh dear. And the yes. Kinoptic Doomstalker is in. Okie dokie, so one out of three. At least you got one in. Right, three attacks from the Doomstalker, hitting on fours, all hit, wounded on twos, two wounds, I get a reroll, all wound, uh, save on threes, one dies. Okay, uh, I've swung that objective, so I scored that um, secondary, uh, I also scored five for the assassination secondary, disappointing I couldn't get another character. But there we go. So I've scored 10, 10 secondary this turn. Well, uh, I've taken that objective back. Um, they managed to score me some points, although I'm disappointed that the beast boss has resurrected because it now means they're going to die. Uh, and I'm disappointed I didn't get to finish him off. I left him on one wound. That's sad. Over here, could have done with that charge. Then I would have scored another 15, uh, another 10 uh, secondary points. So... I'm actually, although I did all right, 10 secondaries, I'm actually 15 shorter than I wanted to be. But this was my big turn, so chances are it's going to be downwards from here as the orcs slaughter everybody. Who's coming up for the next turn? Wait. Yeah, five. Five for David. Nope. Two. Come on, lucky six. No, one. Like I said, I'll end up going last. <laughs> Movement phase recap for the sisters, not much. Uh, they've just pushed through the arch here and moved forwards in the hopes of possibly killing that Wraith Lord later on. The Seraphim that was over there performed an angelic ascent and is now floating above the battlefield, ready for the next turn if that ever happens. Okay, we're going into the shooting phase then. The Blessed Bolt stratagem has been used for when it comes to... Is it the Artificer Armour or is it just the whole it, unit? It's just the whole unit. The whole it's unit. just all bolt. It's all bolt guns. Would you look at that? No, no, no. It's made it? by an Artificial Storm Bolt. Oh, okay. okay. Artific just the Artificer Storm Bolt. My bad. So, normal bolt guns first. Hitting on threes. The normal bolt guns first. Then. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, wounded on fives, I reckon. Yeah. So from a seven. Eight. Six. 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 So, so uh, hit to hits, uh, so it will be sixes. No. I'm going to reroll one because I haven't tried the network. Uh, you could have done. What do you need? Make one of your hit rolls a six for your, for your I don't have a. Yeah. I've only yeah, got one. Nine, on the, two wounds left. I've only got one on the miracle dice. The lucky duck is on two wounds remaining. Now the charge phase. The sisters going in to the ray flood. Scoring an eight. Are you overwatching, good sir? Yeah. Oh, right. He will grab his dice and we'll be back in a moment. So the overwatch. Here we go. Eight. Eight shots. Not too bad. Three's to end. I will... Don't get a reroll. I'll Both leave way. it for the... Oh, uh, Bright Lance. No, I'll, be, I'll do it now because I'm not going to get it. Yeah. Uh, eight. Uh, three's required from the sisters. Well... I'll use. Oh, I cannot use one of them. Uh, I'll try. I'll use one to try it. Okay, take one out. 
does two, not. Three, one, two, three. Four die. Um, now the bright lands could say you doing your automatic six. No, he's not. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, be a five up fill. Uh, five up in one. And you've got no CP, sir. <laughs> He's smug bastard. Try not to so badly. So that obviously didn't go to plan. Um, that sister squad is now wiped. All I have left on the field is my lone Palatine. And obviously... The Seraphim circling above the battlefield, watching her fallen sisters. Over to whoever's turn is next. A five. <laughs> Jimmy, you got to roll a six. Come on, lucky six. Oh, no. it was there. It was there. <laughs> I told you I'd go last. Eldar turn three, and these guardians have bombed up the board, uh, getting the six on the advance, eyeing up this um, palatine in the back, because um, they can shoot with uh, their national specialness. This rear lord has healed up with um, the tears of Aisha, getting a three, so he's back up at five, eyeing up some juicy targets down here, and these are just sticking put for the time being. So, shooting phase. The Guardians are going to go shoot into the Palatine, and I seem to have the horrendous thing of planning things. There we go, right there. Will she survive? Find out in three, two, one. She's alive! Got the ASMR crunching of Pringles in the background. Shooting phase now. We have the Flamers going into these boys and the Bright Lance going into the Were Boy. So here we go. Well, we just start with uh, yeah, do Flamers first. Just start with Flamers for nine shots. Nine shots. It's annoyingly, you couldn't see that far. It was just a bit too dark. <laughs> no, you didn't say anything. I'm like, why are you not responding? Uh, five to win, though. Uh, that is three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, normally they've got like a six up save or something like that, but I get six up in burn anyway, so. Uh, that is three dead boys. Bright Lance now going into the word boy. A auto hit has been uh, issued with his. Um, Eight dice. Yeah. So I've automatically hit. And I'm also roll this one. Uh, freeze to wound. Mm -hmm. Wounds, it's your six do or die in one. Six up in one. Nope. Uh, damage just in case you yep. get your thingy for six. Six damage. Six damage. Ready for this? Five sixes. No, he is dead. With that bit of tasty shooting, I managed to bag no prisoners, ranking up them points. And on top of that, I uh, got assassination, so bagging me another five points, bringing me back to. Level pegging with the lads. Um, I'm going to charge my Wraith Lord into the Squig um, Riders, needing an 8, but Jimmy is electing Overwatch so he can use his bomb. Yep, so Bomb Squig explodes on a 2+, plus because he's an enemy vehicle. He does D3 mortal wounds. So it does D3. Oh, just the one. And then I boss it. And then uh, my oop, sticks uh, miss. And then my little, I don't know how to spell it, it's like saddle gits. One hit. I uh, need sixes to wound you. No. And he's uh, well, well and truly. Wah, wah, wah. Attacks coming in now. Four attacks because he's doing the big strike. Hitting on freeze. Drop him up. And then wounding on threes because it's strength nine. Uh, re roll, re rolling. Uh, I'll go through. Cool, uh, minus. Four. Cool, so six up in buns. Uh, I'll do first guy. Uh, what's your damage? Uh, D3 plus three, so oh, four. So move. I'll be dead, dead. Oh, okay. And then four. Yeah, okay, dead. And then dead. Yeah. Safe to say, Eldar leveled up that. It was a very successful turn for me. This guy uh, managing to kill 
and get holding me 10 points for secondaries and then clearing out some of the arcs in the middle has really saved my bacon. Um, so putting me well and truly back into the game with the lads. So we shall see what Mr. Jimmy does with his arcs. Poor lad going last again, but he's still got some nasty stuff on the board. So, uh, because it's come back around to my turn, I didn't run away from combat, I didn't fail morale test, I rolled for this here and rolled a 1. And then uh, I did not advance away from the objective, so that has been scored for me, getting 5 points. I have pulled no prisoners and capture enemy outpost, and now I need an additional one. Defend stronghold. Uh, this secondary is achieved at the end of your opponent's next phase. If you control an object to market in your own deployment zone. Oh no. Movement. These guys have moved up five to hit these guys. Seeing I've got no prisoners now. And this guy hopefully going into him. And taking off these remaining wounds. Um, defend stronghold. So I'm just going to have to stay put here unfortunately. I did plan on moving him away. But now I can't. Uh, so yeah. Moving on to my shooting phase. Which is going to be all my pistols into these guys. So I'll do them off camera to save us time. So this guy fired his slug into here, doing nothing. And this guy fired his sluggers into here, doing nothing. These guys fired their sluggers into there, doing nothing. Surprise, surprise. Charges. I'm going to go for him into here and these guys into there. So um, are you guys wanting to overwatch? Because I think you do. Both I sure am. <coughs> CP, sir. Yeah, OK. Yeah, go for it. Then. Where's my 20 shots going into these poor boys. There we go. That's three hits. Uh, be f oh, falls to wound. So it's just jump five in it. Yep. Yeah, falls to wound. Three roll one. Two wounds. Minus two. two. Uh, six pin guns. Nope, fail. And then, so that means I've only got five left. And I'm probably just in. Kyle decided not to overwatch here in the end. He uh, decided to keep the CP for other stuff. Um, so five attacks going in there. Well, not five attacks. It'll be like 15 or something. Uh, no, 16, actually. So I'll just quickly grab my dice and be back in a moment. Fight back strategies. Right then, so hitting on threes. Uh, all of them. And then wounding on threes. What's up with that time? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sir. Right. Five ups then. So that's uh, three go down. Uh, power snapper. Uh, to it. And then I need, uh, I'll be strength seven, still tough as four, so the threes again. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Uh, I get to re-roll ones and I get to re-roll one other due to my uh, dynasty. Get one back. The squigger saw now, go uh, yeah, squigger saw now going into the uh, wraith lord. So attacks hitting on twos. Yep, it's in okay. I'll drop two, and then wounding you on and strength twelve. So the threes. That is two, sir, at minus three. Is this the damage two? This is the damage two, so go down to damage one. Nope, so he's down to three wounds. And finally, the squigger saw itself. Hit on twos. Uh, do you know what? I'll burn my last CP for a reroll. And then any wound rolls of six here are three mortal wounds. Uh, so I've got one that's three mortal wounds and one that just wounds. So minus three, flat two. Flat two. Uh, so I'll burn my save. Okay. So I need to basically get at least a five. He's on two wounds. The Wraith Lord lives to fight yet another day. So, uh, end of Orc's turn three. He scored 15 on the primary and did not score any secondary. So that makes us moving into turn four now. 
let's have the almighty roll off and let's see what happens so dave rolls a one Carla five mr ben with a six me with a three ben's turn once again Here we go, these are the Necrons uh, objectives. Defend the Stronghold, which is most likely going to go off. Area Denial, and a Capture Enemy Outpost. Okay, so the Doomstalker has moved around to fire into the combat in the middle. The Necron Warriors have gone nowhere. The Scarab Swarms are just protecting my home objective. The um, Overlord is feeling rather feisty, and the... Uh, Scorpec destroyers have come over here to take this objective. So, hopefully, Necron Lord can get in there and finish off whichever one of those two the Canoptic Doomstalker doesn't shoot. Fingers crossed. Um, into my shooting face. Doomstalker firing into here now. Let's see who he hits. One, two, or three. It'll be the Wraith Lord, or five or six. It's the Wraith Lord. D6 shots. Two shots. Um, I'm fours. not going to CP. Not strong for you now. Eight. Fours then. Two hits. One wound. Uh, I don't know. I'm ready to roll. Nope. That's a Definitely one. D3 damage. Two damage. Down to one. <laughs> Man, Doomstalkers. Just anything with a big cannon in this game seems the, to suck. Um, the rapid fire weapons, two hits, need sixes, two wounds, minus one. Uh, I'll burst CP. Nope. Do you blow up? I don't blow up. Oh, that's disappointing. Necron charge phase now. Let's guess these guys into there. Yeah, yeah go on them. These guys into here. Yeah. Well, and trillion. That's my objective. Point. And then finally, I think it was an 11 inch charge for this guy into here. I need a high number. No, I am going to CP that. Not enough. Base threshers. Hit on threes, re rolling ones. That was pretty rubbish. Uh, what's strength are they? Strength is five. So I'll be five to wound. Two wounds. Two that's wounds. minus three. Ooh, we're messes. That means I'm on a six up save. Two fail. Damage. Four damage. Ooh, he is on one wound remaining. And then the hyperphase re blade. Threes. Two hits, threes. Uh, what, what strength is it? Uh, seven. Double uh, fours to wound because of one wound. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Six up in one. No. Three damage. Good night, sweet knob. Wound on fours. I could have used a reroll for those. Wound on fours. Reroll one of them. So two wounds, no minus. Two wounds, no minus. I think it's there. It's two dead. So end of my turn. I killed a couple more boys, which is handy. I'm going to pile into them just to make sure that they're not getting out. So what does he? What does Ben end on? Which end, end, end of turn? I, I haven't quite finished. Uh, I've taken this objective, which scored me five victory points, and if nobody takes this from me at the, by the end of the game, I'll score another five victory points. Unfortunately. I hope nobody's got assassinate, otherwise my uh, overlords a sitting duck. Let's find out who goes next. Hey. Now you get a six. <laughs> now like what, four things Jimmy's turn four. Uh, movement phase. Here we go. He's moved up. And uh, the pistols are now going to fire into the 
Necrom Warriors. Hit on. Missing on everything. Cool. Charge phase. Going straight into it. Uh, the squig saw. Needing probably an inch. And getting 11. Cheeky cheeky. The two regular Orc Boys. Six attacks. Hitting on twos. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wounding on... Um, Threes. Just the one cert minus one. It's fine. And then uh, the B snagger. It's on two. Winded on threes with the power snapper. Three. This is minus two, so six is needed. It's two technically dead. And then now the squigger saw man. I've taken him away from oh. the squigger Uh. Because this guy's a bastard, he has uh, moved out the way of my guy, stopping me from killing the unit. Uh, we agreed pretty early on, but we didn't mention it, that we were going to play four turns uh, in this game. So now goes down to Eldar versus the one sister. The one sister. And it's the sister. My. Turn four. Obviously, this girl isn't moving. My one remaining seraphim has dropped in right at the back, hoping to contest and stop that uh, objective from being held. Just got to do what I can, really. So, fairly uneventful start to the turn for sisters. Uh, we had some shots plink off over there to kill, uh, to take a wound off of Scarab sw Swarm. And uh, the Palatine has charged in for a heroic last-ditch attempt at trying to kill some Guardians and blocking off access to Objective 4, if, if at all possible. Off-camera, a fifth dice was burnt for six, and then a three was rolled to get in here, denying uh, this objective. So now we are going... Oh, we are starting with this one here, so attacks. Go on, sir. To it. And this, that six explodes as well because. Uh, oh, wait, just it's an auto hit. Sorry, never mind. Uh, and wounds. Uh, one wound. Very good. Another one. Re roll. Uh, and imagine uh, shadow re roll. Yeah. <sighs> Done that. Cool. And uh, now the Palatine's attacks going into the. The Guardian's now getting attacked. Three attacks. Hitting on twos. Uh, I'll re-roll that one. Oh, I didn't even need didn't need to re-roll that. I just used faith dice. Never mind. It's too late for that now. Uh, it's it's going to be two hit, two wounds. AP. Oh wait, I'll I'll. No, no I can't done do it, that. Yeah. Uh, AP is where is it? Uh, one has been slain because of an auto passing a wound with the Elder. I think that's about it. Now Dave will finally recap his turn. What was scored and uh, yeah, Elder's final turn. Not much to recap. Managed to kill one single guardian and plink off another wound over in the corner there. Honestly, just about trying to not die now. So hopefully I can try and make some... Uh, Tasty saves and stop stop Kyle from getting into that last objective. The final round of this nutty game. Uh, the reason why I'm really making a point about it is because initially I had tempting target, middle of the objective, not going to happen. Battle for the supremacy, ain't going to happen. Uh, so I burned... For one CP, my last one, from Bring It Down, I got Blood and Guts. Basically, if I can kill the Paladin, I get two points. The Guardian to the right, right here, is within three of the objective. So technically, uh, I'm contesting, but if I can kill this one wound Paladin, I would get that because I'm the last person to fight, so I would get the last dibs on primaries, bagging me 15, and also two points for that. So we will... Go straight into it. There's no shooting because these guys can't really see anything other than a Doomstalker. Not going to do anything. Waste of time. So it's all about this combat here and see if they can do anything. 
Mr. Carl has elected not to shoot anything, plus he can't shoot anything in this combat, so he's going straight to the combat. Nine attacks. In on threes. Not the best start at all. Uh, fours. Uh, just the one. One on the safe side. Just going to walk past it. Yeah. What an anti-climax, uh, especially with Dave's very casual plonking of his miracle dice down. But that is that. Uh, me and Jimmy will come back with a recap of the scores. We will see you guys there. And that's it. Turn four is over. It's now just me and Cal, Ben and uh, David. David have uh, left for the evening. Sorry, we are very tired. Um, so the final scores on the doors. Uh, starting in joint third place so far, we have Ben and David up 25 points each. Uh, David scored 10 for his secondaries and 15 for his primaries. Ben scored 15 on the secondaries, but only 10 on the primaries. Then in second place, we currently have Kyle on 35 points, 10 on the secondaries, 15 on... No, oh, sorry, I read two fives. Yeah. Um, that is 25, sorry, on the... Uh, primaries and then currently orcs are topping it with 40 points with 25 on the primary and 15 on the secondaries how we're going to do this guys is like roll them over per battle report initially we were talking about doing this as a thousand point game as well before we hit the 15,000 point marks and go 1v1 but discussion off camera i think we will go from the thousand points 1v1 because it does get a lot chaotic. If you have managed to get this far, I don't know how the battle report's going to turn out so far. Um, I think having four people is a bit a bit chaotic for me, anyway. Yeah. Uh, look, we hope you enjoyed it. We we had a laugh. It was, it was oh, yeah, generally it was a, laugh. a really good laugh. Um, but I'd probably, yeah, there, there was a lot of house rules, as we, we specified. So is it a real particular... Like your know, picture of what went well, no. Is you know, Tempest of War meant to be super serious? No. no. That's why we did that. This, you know, it's not super serious, it's fun, it's random. You know, you got three out of four last turn, <laughs> Ben got three out of four first turn, you know, and he came second the other one. So it, it, it makes you think, and that's what we wanted to do re refresh it. Yeah. Personally, I think it. it it's hard to say totally because there's four of us and there's loads of house rules, but I enjoyed, it felt different. Yeah. You need to kind of get a little bit more to kind of lose your mind with the sort of secondaries and stuff and have a bit more fun, you know, and, and then embrace the fact that it is random and things happen. And, you know, I went first out of everyone and last out of everyone. And the first turn, you don't have a clue what you're doing. You're like you're dipping your toe into like hot, hot, like hot bath, and you you you're burning yourself. It was like what to do. Um, and then you you know we sort of in the middle of the game started to understand it. And I, I think if we have a few more games, and they are definitely going to be coming a lot of like like a lot of the bigger channels, we are definitely going to be doing it as well. And we will get better. And there's going to be so much more randomness and fun with it. I enjoyed myself, and I hope you guys did too, because it was a really good game. Yeah, this was more of a casual, let's have a laugh. Yeah. But we are turning into a bit of a league, so um, if you have made it this far, well done. You get to enter into the secret prize. Basically, Mr. Carl here has said that he will put up, I think, a £20 voucher for the winner of Between Us, mm -hmm. and a £10 voucher for one of you lucky lot. If you are in America or like Australia and you tend to win, and we'll probably get a Games Workshop voucher for you in like a £10 value. So we'll buy £10. So if it's Australian, you're probably going to get around about $20. We might be kind and round it up. Because then yeah, we'll, oh yeah, we'll, we'll sort American will be about 15 yeah. Canadian maybe 18 Um Yeah, the, the, the real plan with this um, for you guys of... So you watch, but for the UK, it'll be vouchers for legal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the plan really was just to kind of grow and evolve and take you on that journey with us really um you know we are not meta chasers realistically it'd be great to win tournaments and all that but 
um, it was just there to build new armies and slow grow things, change things, and we are going to take your advice. You know, why did you do this? Why did you do that? And then this, this, and that. We, we, us two, absolutely love your comments and the stuff, and we really are trying to bring what you want, like certain, you know, um, armies of renown and certain styles and certain like, you know, hide fleets, craft worlds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we are listening, trying to go, but again. It's, it's, it's quite expensive to do Warhammer and it takes yeah. a long time to get them all done. But there's a lot coming still. With um, that being said, a long time to set stuff up. So this is like a slow grow. It's going to be a case of the next time you'll probably see any of us face off against each other within this might be about another three or four months down the line. It is going to be like sporadically put in. When we can film it, we will film it. Uh, so it might take maybe a year and a half, two years before we even give the winner their voucher, just just FYI. Uh, but we will try and get him filmed as much back to back uh, as possible, especially because you being here, you might be able to play David and um, Ben more often than yeah. me. So we'll do a thousand points, three games. Uh, you'll you'll see multiple games. We might do the odd one off camera, just tell you how it went. Um, but we want to try and capture as much as we possibly can. Um, anything else, Swad? No. So, yeah, a lot of information, a lot of like our thoughts bombarded in there, so apologies for a little bit of like, warp mind explosions. But that's kind of what we want to do. Um, hope you guys really enjoy it. Uh, again, yeah. feedback is absolutely vital and so welcomed. So please just... Yeah. Whack it down in the comments. And for you guys at home to win the vouchers, just put who you think will overall win this. Yes. Um, and then we'll tell you a cut off point and then any entries after that uh, will be <laughs> null and void so guys thanks for watching it was something completely different completely random and we'll see you in the next one which will be probably Tempest of War or maybe a regular match play who knows yet but we'll see you soon bye guys see ya bye uh, due sure. to Shuriken sure Catapults Range 18 yeah, yeah. Okay, so start again. Yeah. So that is it for Eldar turn one. We're going to bring him at the end of the battle map. Yeah. 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 So, sorry, we'll just, you know what?